How is it going everybody? This is Eddie and welcome back to the Minecraft Let's Play. Today we are going to put together that poor man's Enderman farm. Um, I have found a tutorial that actually automates it in a very nice, neat, compact way. Let me give a shout out to the name. It's on YouTube, Polar18. Not a very active channel, but only has like 20 subs or so. And uh, has put together a pretty good design. Oh ho ho! Came over with the quickness. Thought he was angry. Um, uh, and I'm not gonna build this on camera because it's uh, Polar 18's design and also Seth Blink's design uh, concept, at least. So I can't really do that. But I will explain how it works afterwards. It's extremely simple. Push of a button and you crush your Enderman down to one hit. I'm a little concerned about one thing, which is that servers sometimes don't have the most responsiveness. So I might have to get them down to like two hits or something just to make sure that um, none of them die. Because if the server lags for a second, the pistons don't extend for a second, um, they all die. Uh, unless I build, build in some wiggle room. And, um, yeah, that's about it. I'm just re now realizing I forgot to bring the blocks that I wanted to build it out of. But that's okay. Um, so you do need, uh, like, clear space where you can see a bunch of endermen. So that's what I'm doing here. What's that? Can you hear it? Hold on. Be my headphones. I'm hearing a crackle, which is strange. And a hiss. Hold on. Very strange. It could just be the end biomes version of this song, though. I've never heard that before. Oh yeah, no, this is like distinctly different music. Wow, I've never heard this before. That's so wonky. I like it, though. Okay, so... Let me... Oh man, it's trippy. <laughs> oh my god. It's, it's kind of spooky. <laughs> Oh my goodness. What in the world? Have you guys ever heard that music? I don't... I, I'm scared. Okay, let's build it out of stone bricks and dark oak wood because that's what I have on me. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, so, I am going to set up, um, some, I'm going to set up the farm, and I'll be right back with you. Oh man, spooky music. Alright, um, music is still going, and I'm actually going to turn it down a little bit, because, hey, hey, hey! Oh my god, that's scary. Um, so this right here is not the finished product, but it is in fact uh, a halfway point. It is the farm not automated. Um, what you see here is sticky pistons and little cubby areas right here for endermen to sit. Very nice. Uh, and simply all you have to do is flip the lever. This is actually a button, but if it was a lever flip it, pistons extend, and crush the enderman. Now there's a button here because we're going to automate it, and normally you would flip the switch and count to 39 as the enderman got hurt, and that would be that. Um, it would get them down to one health and you could punch them. With the button system that we're going to do is it's actually going to go uh, down a timer system that will equate, I almost looked at that guy equate to the same amount of time, so all you have to do is hit the button and not count. That's the idea. Um, 
So, let me go ahead and add that part onto it, and then we'll take a look at the insides just real quick. Alright, we've got it. Let's test it out. So, uh, I'm not going to test it with any Enderman first. First, I'm going to push the button and show you guys how it works. Push button. Pistons are extended. Now, let's hurry up. Hop up here. And you can see... Which one is it? One of these is going to be slowly decaying this guy in signal strength until, until it turns off and that signal strength decay just takes the uh, the right amount of time um, so let me show you I don't have many scaffolding blocks here <laughs> for netherrack and a piece of dirt so when you hit the button extends it powers this redstone and extends the pistons as well as goes right down this comparator line um, and right back down the comparator line into this piece of redstone to keep the signal on you have this uh, repeater line which is um, sort of what's causing the delay I think um, because they're all at full tick uh, full full delay and there's a loop going on somewhere I think I think it's these repeaters I mean these comparators that I'm not quite sure how it's working because I've never really looked into comparators all too in depth but I think what's happening is the signal strength is being preserved as it goes down and then it's losing two and then I think it's like one tick for each comparator maybe going all the way down and going back through the cycle losing one tick losing two signal strength as it goes down one tick one tick one tick one tick and then lose another signal strength one tick one tick one tick one tick losing another two signal strength one tick one tick one tick so I think that's I think that's what's causing the delay but I'm not sure um, it makes sure to remind me if I did not link the video of Polar 18 down in the description and also uh, Seth Blings for the original idea. Um, so now let's test out and see how this works. As I said, we might have some troubles because we're on a server. I've already turned down the mob volume. Probably going to have to do it more. Thank God the spooky music stopped. Um, and we will see... Uh, If we're gonna need to sh ow, shorten the delay any, make sure I stand right in the middle. If I do need to shorten the delay, what will happen is some of them will be at one punch, and some of them, most of them, will be at two punches, which really is probably not the end of the world unless they teleport away. Come on, guys, get in on this. All right, let's have a go. Now. That's what I was worried about. Um, you guys know that I actually discussed that before, if you saw one of my previous episodes, is that Piston Crushers seemed to not work on Endermen anymore. I don't know if that's a 1.8 thing, or before it's just tested on this one guy. Um, first of all, they run around like crazy. Alright, there he is. He teleports. That, um, but see, they don't really teleport when you swing at a sword, so suffocation damage causes them to teleport nowadays, which I can understand. Um, I, well, the reason why, I, so I tested this out in a creative world, and that's what I found, but in a creative world, I was in creative mode, and they didn't aggro onto me. Um, so I thought that maybe having the aggro would solve that problem. See how they're mad at me? Why did he forget? It does not seem to matter. So, that's good testing. Apparently this contraption is useless. Um, in this update. Or I could be doing something wrong, who knows. Um, hmm, things to... We could try to fix it in some way. Uh, more testing could be done there. Um, or, we could replace some of this stuff with potions um, that is another possibility I think that would work 
Uh, I know potions are projectiles, so I don't know how the teleporting works. If like a splash potion of poison would actually poison this guy, these guys, because then what you could do, oops, don't don't travel out there. Then what you could do is poison them. They'd be teleporting around the end, poisoned. You know, they wouldn't they wouldn't be next to you anymore. But if you just continue to look at them and continue to throw a poison potion and then look at them and hit some of them, some of them would be poisoned down to one hit. I think it would be pretty inefficient, but it would work. Or there's always instant damage potions. It's just that these guys kind of have a lot of health. Well, um, alright. Let's pack up. Hopefully none of them are mad at me still. And let's head back. I'm going to see how much time we got left in the episode. And that actually took a little longer than I thought, I think. And then we will take a peek down at the progress I've made on the slime farm. Alrighty. So, let's go ahead, we got a couple more minutes. Now, I have some very recent, pretty exciting news uh, in regards to the channel. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to talk about it yet, but I want you all to stay tuned. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't. <laughs> um, it's coming up pretty soon, very happy about it. And it is a for sure thing now. Okay, so, leave you on that suspense as we go winding down and down and down the spiral staircase. So I have officially cleared out the entirety of the chunk. Now, there is a problem. Spiral staircase is inside the chunk. What are we going to do about that? Um, and as you might know from the way the old slime farms work, now I haven't built mob farms because of I got into mod packs and there's auto spawners and there's so much else that you can do to avoid making a natural mob spawn generator or farm of some kind is I'm using like really old designs as you evidenced by that old enderman farm that isn't even that old I don't think and already doesn't work but that's okay because this slime farm could replace that farm uh, as our temporary experience means so my old slime farms, which I think still work, I don't know if slime behavior has changed any, but I'm fairly certain that it hasn't changed enough to... I think the only change to slime behavior that we've seen is that when slimes hit walls, they now turn and bounce straight forward again in another direction, I think. So that's fine, because they won't hit walls, they'll fall down to the ledges. Uh, with water streams in them, which will carry them to uh, one particular corner, and from there they will be killed. So, this staircase in a less than ideal spot. Now, one solution is make a room up there, stop the staircase right there, and then like make this corner a killing corner, and that's what I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with. Another thing is we could just work around the staircase, but the uh, staircase is not hard to move, so... So here's the way this is going to go. Um, we have... Da -da, I don't have a bucket or any water. I actually have gone this entire time on the server without a bucket. That's not true, because I, I must have placed water up there somewhere somehow to get that water stream in our house. Oh, I don't know where I got that from. I must have lost my bucket. Oh no, I'm lying to you right now. I have a bucket. And it's in my inventory. Oh boy. Uh, staircase. Okay. Ow, jeez. <laughs> um, looks like I have a new neighbor on the server, which is pretty sweet. I do not know who that is. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could be one of the people who I added more recently on the streams. We had an awesome Trove stream the other day. I want to tell you guys about if you don't know. Oh, you know what? I just realized this is going to be way easier with two buckets. Um, we had like five or six people playing Trove. Trove just went into open beta. I actually, this is a funny story. 
So I've never done a giveaway on my stream before. I'm actually kind of glad that I didn't because I realized I forgot to do certain things that Twitch requires you to do with giveaways, like disclaimers about how Twitch isn't in any way related to it. But anyways, um, I had like six or so trove keys to give away and I tweeted out, I was like, okay, we're doing a stream with the, whoa. Oh, that's right. I mean, where are those chickens dead yet? No, we will find those. Maybe. <laughs> um, so I, I tweeted out. I was like, "Yes, we're doing a trove stream, or we're doing a stream tonight. And I'm gonna do a giveaway. I've never done one before." Um, I had all these troves or keys for trove. I was gonna give away like three or so, maybe more, and then like next time do stro trove give away the rest of them because I knew because I like follow the trove Reddit and. I knew that open beta was coming soon. I didn't know. I don't know if they actually released the date beforehand, or if I just wasn't paying and I wasn't paying attention, or if they didn't release it and I just knew it was sometime soon in November. And um, actually, no, I gotta go the other way. And uh, so I was pretty pumped uh, to do this giveaway and get some people playing Trove, and let people enjoy a couple weeks, what what I assumed would be a couple weeks of beta before open beta. And um, that day, earlier that day, they had launched open beta. Um, so my keys are worth it, so I had to tweet out like a couple, like 30 seconds later after I started up the game and see in big letters, open beta <laughs> launched, that there was no giveaway. But luckily open beta led to like five or so people um, from the stream watching, uh, playing with us, and that was cool. We did some leveling of our characters, obviously a lot of people were... I didn't have their characters leveled up. Uh, if you don't know Trove, you should check out the game. It is in open beta and free to play by Tryon Games on the Glyph Launcher. So, um, actually, I don't know if they're called Tryon Games. I think they're just called Tryon. Anyways, um, so that was funny. And my plans were giveaway. If plans for giveaways were ruined. Um, and. Anyways, though, but lots of people really responded quite well to it. We got quite a new, a lot of new followers for Trove, so that's nice. Um, I would definitely not mind being someone really active in the Trove community. Uh, those devs are amazing, so responsive on the Reddit, so open to community engagement. Um, it reminds me of like back before Minecraft. I mean, I didn't, I wasn't even really around. I had Minecraft and I had played it and I liked it, but I, I wasn't like big into it um, back in the days before it was popular. Like I, I, I knew of it and was like, yeah, that's kind of fun. I, I you know used to play it a little bit, but yeah, it took me by storm uh, at the same time that it kind of took everyone by storm. Um, so. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, I hear rumors of a really, really responsive interactive Mojang that I never really saw because I was never that engaged, but I believe it happened, and it definitely happens in Trove. <coughs> okay, so, where's the right location for this? I kind of forget how to do this. Okay, it's definitely going to need more signs. So, um... Yeah, 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 definitely check that out, and we'll stream more of it for sure, and I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Um, and of course there's the Trove uh, Let's Play, if you don't know what Trove is, there's also my Let's Play here on YouTube, of course. So, oh, I just realized I did this kind of weird, okay, let's just do one more, man. So, um... What was I going to say about the stream? Oh, right, and then we played Cards Against Humanity because Hypixel was down. That was yesterday's stream on the day that I'm recording this. That was a few days ago for you guys. But, um, yeah, so I'm glad. But we got, like, like 20 or so followers, which is, like, really, really unheard of for me these days. So let's see how far this goes. Right there. So basically we want this... No, wait, I think I did that wrong. 
We want this. This, this, this. Okay. Gotta wrap this up soon. We're running way out of time. And basically, you're gonna put water here. Water here. And I'm pretty sure slimes cannot swim. So, yes. Um, and what you see <coughs> is. Um, I need an infinite spring. That's what you see. Put one here for now. Obviously, we'll move this later. This should be working, by the way, already, because it's lit up and it's low enough. So, um, we can, might come down here to work on this and actually have some slimes at some point. I have to go way further up here. This is just an example. So, you can see that this water here uh, is. F for forget this. It's flying this way, I'm not moving arrow keys or anything, I'm touching anything, and it continues to flow this way. And so if we surround what we have here with streams like this one that all flow to one corner over here, slimes will sit and they'll jump in their one direction as they do until boop, they fall and they go this way. And if we can layer, put enough layers of this going down, um, we can get a pretty decent, and then light up the area round enough, we can get a pretty decent slime farm going. Uh, that will also double as an experience farm, uh, which is a win for us. So that is all the time I have today. I'm going to need another pick very soon. Um, I will, I have not torn down, I'm going to wait to see what you guys say in the comments about that Enderman farm, I haven't torn it down yet in case I'm messing something up. But, uh, I did think of another design that included tripwires, that, you know, Enderman got hit once and then they teleported. If you put tripwires down, they would get hit every time you walked up to them. The thing is, is that you wouldn't get any experience from that. So maybe you'd need the tripwires to do potions, like I said. Uh, or something like that. Anyways, I'm going to have to do some testing with that. We could salvage the project in one way or another. Um, but, like, we could do a falling Enderman farm once we get enough pistons and stuff like that. That could be a community build or something. Alright, um, so this is way over. Uh, I'm going to have to leave here now. Hey, Ken Dog. I'm going to have to head out now, and... I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. That's it for me for now. Eddie out.